I have bought a few things from Marks and Spencers recently. So this is a Marks and Spencers haul. Mixed success, I would have to say, mixed success. So let me go through, show you what I've bought from Marks and Spencers, what's good, what's bad, what I didn't like, what I do like, and uh, what alternatives I found out there as well. So first of all, I bought this jumper from In The Sale, and it is a block with uh, navy, ivory, and gray. It's got some buttons down the sleeve and it's actually very thick, very warm. It's for those days indoors when you don't want the heating on in the spring and uh, winter. It's kind of in the autumn. It's kind of um, almost fleecy, but not inside. It's, it is actually a very, very thick jumper. I can't remember the price of it. I'll put down below if I can find the link in the price if it's still available in the sale. Um, but I got a size 12 because it comes up very skinny. I noticed on the website, the pictures of the girls in, in, in the ladies wearing them, it's a very tight fit. I actually think, so I'm normally a size 10 and I ordered a 12. I actually think I would have preferred a 14 and gone up two sizes, but I went up one. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, yeah, it's just called the gray mix color block, but I would have preferred a slightly, uh, you know, a 14, I think for me. But anyway, I'm an, I normally a 10, so two sizes bigger, I would have gone just to lose that skinny tight fit, but it comes out on me as a, a snug jumper, not a skinny fit jumper. So there's that, and that's successful. I've kept that, it's a nice sweater, and I do wear that. Another win. Faux suede jacket, safari style, easy roll up sleeves. This is so soft. This again was in the sale so soft. I love the colour, I love the weight of it. Once we're allowed out in April, I will be wearing this. I tell you, I'll be wearing this. I just absolutely love it. It's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Safari style look there, it's got the belt. Absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely. It's per una, size 10, and this was, the original price was £65. I didn't pay £65 for it, I got it in the sale. I will link it down below if it is still available. I bought jeans, mixed success on the jeans front. Now, when I ordered these, I was looking for a more modern shape to, I would move out of the skinny jeans and the jumpers type and the, the skinny jeggings scenario that I've been living in and go for some more modern shapes. And more modern is now back here. I'm five foot one, so I have difficulty getting the length and that's why I go to Marks and Spencers because of the I can get the petite, but shape, baggy shape can swamp me. On the website, I rather liked the look of these, the Slim Boyfriend. Slim Boyfriend mid-rise. In fact, I liked these so much that in both orders, I ended up ordering a pair because they look really good and straight. They look straight leg on the picture. However, on me, and, and you know, when they came, they're a nice indigo. A lovely indigo, I, I, you know, I like that, the, the slightly, slightly lighter on the front. They come with a turn up, which is absolutely perfect length for me. And these are the short, size 10, short boyfriend. And their price is the 39 pound, 39 pound 50. I think they're all for 39 pound 50. And um, there's another little sign here. It says due to the unique method of finishing this fabric, some color transfer may, may occur. Now, so the picture looks lovely and straight, exactly what I'm looking for, a nice cropped, slightly turned up, boyfriend jean. I liked this so much, this picture to, so much that in both orders I, I submitted in different weeks, I ended up ordering this pair of trousers. But on me, they don't look right. On me, they kind of hug the hips and the upper thighs not the front, but at the side. And it, it's giving me that, that sort of that shape like that, that's very body forming. And that is not what I'm looking for. So I think my body shape is just not right. I'm, they, they don't hang on me, giving me the straight look that I'm wanting. These are two figure hugging around my hips and my upper thighs. And so that's how I've seen them twice. Then I ordered a pair of mom jeans. These are again, size 10 short. These are 39.50 again, and they are just called mom jeans. 
And if you saw a video before that I have done on Marks and Spencer's jeans, you'll see that I had a pair of mom jeans that I bought several years ago that are really good shape on me, slightly baggy and do not sort of swamp me as a size 10 short, you know, five foot one person. Because the danger with mom jeans is you're going to, you're going to be all jean, aren't you? You're going to be all jean. You're like, you're walking around in a big balloon. So um, I ordered another pair thinking that maybe in, in a lighter colour, I wanted a lighter indigo rather than a dark indigo as my existing ones. However, these ones, just too, they're, they're wider. They're wider. I've measured them against the, my existing mom jeans. These are definitely an inch, inch and a half wider in the leg width and on me they look it. So disappointingly that's another pair of trousers that I ordered from Marks and Spencer's that I'm going to have to return. So sadly not keeping them either. Then I have been in the mood for wanting to have a pair of pleather joggers or faux leather joggers because this is the thing if people this is what people are wearing all those stylish women out there on Instagram and and you know in the newspapers that are the the street style, not that you're in the street at the moment, but if you know what I mean, you know, this is a thing, isn't it? It's the up and coming thing is these faux leather joggers. So I ordered from Marks and Spencer some faux leather joggers. These are £35, it's cheaper than jeans, strangely enough. And they are M&S collection. They, all, all the label says is M&S collection, £35. Inside, I can give you the code. 02216102 but um, I think that's, that's just it really uh, faux leather um, joggers pockets on nice length I could turn them up I believe if I needed to turn them up and they look absolutely great on at the front I was really happy with these until I turned around honestly at the back for me at my height these look like I am wearing a bin bag you know, I like Bill and Ben, the flower pot men stuck inside a bin bag. Really? I am. I am. So I've gone from a bin bag, what did I say, a, a balloon? So I've gone from looking like I'm, I'm in a balloon to looking like I'm in a bin bag. So the jeans I do find work for me from Marks and Spencers are the Siennas and the Lilies, because one of you told me after I bought the Siennas that they like Lily. I've tried Lily, I bought Lily and they do work for me. So I like the Lily. I found that the Sienna and the Lilies are both too long, so I've ended up taking them up and I'm gonna do another video on that. But what have I done about this then? So this lot's going back once, once I can go into store. I've got the receipts, all of them are going back. So that's two orders of jeans, just not keeping, and trousers not keeping. So what did I do? Because I really, I really, really do want faux leather joggers. The jeans I can do, you know, I can move on and, and get jeans another time. But I did want faux leather joggers. So I desperately wanted some faux leather joggers. So I had a look around on other websites and there are some sales around there and I did find a pair on Mint Velvet. So I ordered from Mint Velvet. I bought them at a reduced price and you know what? I've tried them on, I'm wearing them now. So you can see that these ones, they've got a nice tapered leg. They're, they're not too long but I can turn them up. So on one leg, I've, I've, I'm showing them here with them turned up, one, just one notch, uh, so I can have that rolled up, turn up effect. But if I don't want that, they're fine. I don't, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a good length. Um, and I believe these were short, and they've got a, a belt that seems to me like it's, gonna, although I've tied it up here, I would be very tempted to actually perhaps take this belt off and put another belt around, or not wear a belt at all. They don't have an elasticated, not elasticated at the top, so I think you could get away with not wearing a belt at all, or you could put your own belt wear, depending on the look you're looking for, to be honest. I actually think maybe a jogger does need a tied up belt rather than a, another type of belt. Um, so I, mixed feelings about that, about what I'll do about the belt. But this belt is that being a uh, faux leather belt, it's actually quite stiff to do up. So if you've got a big hoop, you end up with this big bulging bow so it needs to be tied up with a little bow really to actually get a more discreet effect. Um, but these are nice tapered leg and they look good at the front, but most importantly, they also look good from behind. I do not look like I am wearing a bin bag. 
So, happy, happy. I'm a happy bunny in my mint velvet faux leather joggers. I'm a happy bunny with my safari jacket and my, you know, the, and the jumper. The jeans from Marks and Spencers, the faux leather joggers from Marks and Spencers, going back. They really need to fit somebody who is taller than me to lose that baggy balloon dustbin bag effect. Anyway, everything I've kept from Marks and Spencer's and Milk Velvet have turned out to be from the sale. Not a bad. You know, that's a bit jammy, isn't it? That's a bit jammy. Anyway, that wasn't my intention, you know, because these, these Marks and Spencer's jeans and faux leather um, joggers were all full price. I'm perfectly happy. If they fit, if they would look nice, I would have paid, you know, that for them. Mind you, the mint velvet at half price was similar to full price Marks and Spencer's. I'd like to know how successful you're finding Marks and Spencer's at the moment. And I will do a video on my Sienna jeans and my Lily jeans because they did come up long when I got them. And I did, even though I ordered the short and I have made some alterations to them. So I am going to show you another video of how I have altered them. And I will see you all in another outfit.